I'm Keith with Walters and Wolf. I'm going to give a little presentation today on how to tie some proper knots and how to properly tie off some glass. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is a bowline. It's our starter knot. It's going to get a little complicated, but if you practice, anyone can learn it. Pull your, your rope through like so. You're going to twist your rope so this piece is coming out of the hole. We're going to go back through. So, like so, pull that tight. At any time now, when you go to release this knot, it's very easy. No matter how tight this knot gets, it will always break free and come loose. Very simple, very efficient. You take that a step farther and do a quick release bowling. Same maneuvers, except this time we're going to push our knot part way through, kind of like a shoestring. And now to release that, even more efficient, pull on it. Your rope is free and your rope's undamaged. No matter how tight you tighten it, your rope is undamaged. It's good information to have. Very efficient knots. Ready for action. Now that we've started at the top, and it's important to start at the top, and I'll get to that in a little bit, so we're just going to tie our top off with our, with our quick release bowling. We're going to come around our glass, we get snug, do our next keeper, down to the bottom. Pull our rope tight, keeping a little tension on it. Around the bottom. Off again. And now we have two points of contact on our glass with our ropes. Come back towards the center. Do a half hitch. Just going to come through, pick up our bottom rope, put this rope through, pull it through. And now that, because now we're causing a V, will stay in that position. Come up to the top. And this is where that gets important, starting at the top, because now you're always pulling down. You're not putting stress on your back, pulling up. You're going to pull this down until it's snug. It's not break the glass, just keep it snug. Tie another half hitch. This is important, because it comes apart really easy. Pull on your lead rope, you're free. Easy. Let's tie that back on with our half hitch. Now this is important. Now you've got extra rope. A lot of guys just leave it hang. It's always something to do with it. We don't want that. Tie another half hitch. Loop your rope. Put that loop in there. Now you have a whole new beginning of a piece of rope that you can pull on and not release anything. Because we don't have more rope that we need to use up, tie half hitch. Snug your rope up. Plain and simple. Easy use of a rope, the proper use of a rope, and your glass is secure. If you have annealed glass, always remember, you need to put some cardboard, some corners in here to protect your rope from your glass. On tempered glass, not so critical, unless you're traveling with it. Anytime you're traveling with your, with your load, you need to have corners on so we don't get rope abrasion. Lose your load.